What's up you guys, it's Insanity, and today we're gonna to be talking about broke boy remedies to our general aches and pains. And as you guys know, uh, if you train hard and you work out hard, you're gonna get some aches and pains. And these are things that could restrict you from your next practice, things that could inhibit your training, and things that just will bother you on the day-to-day -day basis. So here are a couple household remedies that you guys can use. Before you jump into this, make sure you guys have a general idea of how the human body looks, where your muscles are, where your bones are. Because you definitely don't want to damage yourself worse than you already are, because that would be taking a step back. And my last precaution is if something looks like it might hurt you more than you already are hurt, just don't do it. Don't mess with it. I'm going to now lead you guys to my first remedy, and that is the rolling pin. And if you guys have ever seen those people use those rollers where they lay on them and roll out their legs, this is kind of a similar idea. It's a little bit, I would say, harder, but you could also use this to kind of target certain areas. All right, you guys, so the reason I chose this tool is actually one of my friends, he um, told me he used it. I thought he was kind of crazy. And then I started seeing like all these massage tools at stores, at sports stores, online, um, all over the place. And they're essentially this. They looked a little bit more fancy. Sometimes they had spikes on it, but this is essentially what it was. So I was like, well, this is a genius idea. And I'm pretty sure, you know, in the past, people probably use the same thing. So basically you can use your hands to just kind of roll out your legs. And you, again, you have to be careful of where you're doing it, but especially if you are really tight on your legs, this is a really easy way to kind of roll it out and help yourself out. You can do this when you're done practicing just to help try to relieve some of the strain on some of your muscles. And in general, it just feels really good. It's kind of like a massage, like a shiatsu massage, but done by yourself with a rolling pin. The downside is obviously you can't really roll out your arms or anything else besides your legs. But the benefit of this over actual roller is you actually have complete control of the pressure that you put on your legs and you could, you know, reduce it or go harder as you please. If you guys don't have access to a rolling pin, you could even use your papaya smasher. And it'll essentially do the same thing. It won't roll nicely like this, but you can essentially just roll it as you please. And again, if you guys ever go to like massage stores, they actually have stuff like this um, used to massage other people, all right? You could easily hurt somebody with this, so be careful. But in the meantime, enjoy the free 99 leg massage. Another one that I actually used to use is actually a stick. You don't have to necessarily have a broomstick. We used to actually use a scream of sticks, like when we did the scream of sticks in martial arts, but um, any stick will do. Just something that's, you know, not too big that you could use. And again, we would actually use these a lot on our shins here. This really helps to kind of just get out that strain that's right here. And this happens a lot for athletes because you're constantly on your toes and this kind of builds up a strain right here. So the benefit of using this over like the rolling pin is it kind of gives a more targeted feel. So you'll actually be able to get like more specific in spots that are hurting and uh, really, really focus on that. This is a plastic broom, but if you guys have a wooden one, it'll probably work a little bit better. Um, but you know, use what you got. Another very affordable remedy is a tennis ball. And this is not exactly a tennis ball. I believe this is a racquetball. Um, it's a little bit harder, so it actually, in my opinion, works better. But for a lot of people, this is a little bit, you know, too strong. So you can start off with a tennis ball, and um, it actually helps really good to kind of target specific areas. And because it's soft, small, and also round, it allows you a little bit more freedom. You take the ball, and you lay on it, and you just find that specific region that it's hurting, and you basically can either rub it on it or you can just lay on it and kind of let yourself you know feel that pressure and what you're looking for is like the knots that are really hurt so if it's painful just kind of stay there you could also relieve some of the pressure by leaning to the other side if it's too hard you definitely want to try to focus on keeping the ball on your muscles like between your shoulder blades not on your spine um, but on a muscle that's actually aching the last thing I wanted to show you guys is actually probably the safest way of using this ball and it's actually leaning against some type of wall so you put it somewhere on your back and you just lean on the wall and you kind of just move around 
going up and down on specific parts targeting basically where it hurts. And this basically just simulates a massage, and especially if you have a certain region that's hurting, this will really, really kind of help you target that area. When you're using a foam roller or even one of those sticks, it's a little bit hard to target specific spots, especially by yourself. So um, this is something that really, really helps you, especially if you don't have access to someone to give you a massage or someone to, you know, help rub your back anything like this this is a really good tool especially if you're training by yourself all right you guys so these are just a couple broke boy solutions to the everyday aches and pains and again please be careful because you don't want to make your injury worse than it already is i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you guys press that subscribe button leave me a comment about what you want to see next and happy training peace